part two. A super soldier program. I did get some information. The planet in part one. Uh, I can't say these names because they're too evil to say. And when you say these names, you can conjure stuff up and they can hear you. And so I'm not, I can spell it, but I cannot say it. So the planet is B-A-A-L. And the universal system that this planet derives in is D-O-N-V-I-S-V-A-L. The This planet that was bought by the Benevolent has been destroyed. The whole planet is destroyed. I believe they blew it up after they took everything out that was needed. Um, I just got information that the SS soldier's real name is K-A-B-A-A-L, which means the evil, or worse. So, I think this planet was a manufacturing, this universe was a manufacturing universe of Dracos, reptilians, etc., etc. They said there's dozens of their species. There's species that we don't even know about that they have. And so, because I don't delve into this side, I don't know that. I delve into the benevolent. So that's as far as I can go on that. So, Fedgepa goes back to meet with the council and the sentinels and the Melchizedek were present and Sonanda. And they saw through Fejba's eyes the fighting and then the connection between these two, Dereev and Fejba. And Fejba knew him from the wars in heaven. She knew him, um, and he became indecisive in the wars in heaven. He didn't fight on either side. Actually, he didn't want to fight at all. And he just wanted his family safe. He had a family, a wife and children. And he just wanted them to be safe. He was not a warrior up there. He was more of a scholar. And, um, not quite sure. But he seemed more intellectual instead of a fighter. And so because of that, he kept neutral. And, um which really that can't happen in the wars of heaven. So due to this um, inconsistency when he came down for earth lives to attain uh, knowledge for his Akashic, Re Akashic records and attainment and atonement, um, he was captured. And that's when this happened and they transformed him into this monstrous body. So Fejman knew his eyes because she saw the soul and she knew of him and she, she knew of his greatness and his wisdom and his beautiful family. So Condorn and Zephyr worked with this soldier and uh, Fejba came in to the planet and there was a containment room this soldier's body still was paralyzed from the neck down his head was slumped over his eyes were closed but he could hear them um, they didn't think that he could turn they didn't think that he could how they can tell a super soldier turns is if they have emotion. If they're dead inside and have no human emotion, then they need to be expired because they cannot be controlled and they'll go back to the evil ways. But if they can retain their emotion from their human side, then they can work with that. Veg became and she knelt before this contained super soldier. She put his hand, her hand, her full hand, on his forehead, and a blue light 
shine, shone, shone out of her hand into the forehead of the super soldier. She was showing him. She was showing him his family. She was showing him his life in the heavenly realms of grace. Who he was. He was a scholar. And of his indec indecision of not making a stand or not fighting. He didn't want to fight. That's not who he was while he was up there. And now, here he is. His eyes open when he saw his family. And she showed, showed him what a loving father, great father, in the spirit realm he was. And the friends and the family that were casted around him and the love of many had for him. And she burned it into his soul. And he looked at her and a tear fell from his eyes. And Fedjba caught that tear. And she stood and broke her hand away from his forehead. And she walked over to Zephyr and Condor and showed them the tear. In this tear that almost filled her hand, they could see a vision of who he was in the realms of heaven before the wars began. And they looked at her and they nodded their heads and smiled because they knew that they could work with him now because they brought forth emotion. They brought forth love into his heart. And she closed her fist and she smiled and said yes. She left for Condor and Zephyr to continue on to complete the process of rehabilitation. Super soldiers that reside upon this earth this day that are in human form completely have been renewed. They could not take out their memories fully. Thus many have catastrophe of memories, do not understand them. They don't even know what time link their memor memories are. Some of them think it's this time upon this earth, but it's not. It's other lives. It's very confusing for them. And they need to support each other. They need to have those that step out and step up and gather them and heal them, not only through their memories, because they feel like if they remember their super soldier memories, they will be healed. It might be good for them to bring this forth, but they also have to remember that they've been healed by grace and they have been brought down to this earth for a reason. You have the Legion Angels, the Valkyries, the Warriors, and all those strong commanders coming onto this planet to make a last great stand upon this planet while well, they have super soldiers here. This is the first time that these super soldiers have been basked as babies on this planet for the most part. Some have come down a few times as a test to see if they could stay on the straight and narrow and stay clean even though they have their rep repressed memories. There will be time that they will be ignited fully 
and that's why they must merge with the sovereignty, with the benevolent, because they will work together with them. Because this isn't only the benevolence planet, it is also the super soldiers planet. And their strength and perseverance and intelligence will be needed and they will need to work together with the rest of the benevolent group. This is a test. We don't know what they're going to do. We don't know if they're going to activate and go against us or for us. We're hoping for the latter, that they'll be for us. But this is where good members, those that have stepped out and are mouthpieces, bring forth healing to your people. Super soldiers are your people. You have a connection with them. You have a connection that no other human has. So make sure you connect with them and strengthen this group. And then when called out, be a leader. Don't go against us, go for us. Because you have both in you. And you will have to make a decision. And we hope you make the right decision. We've given you memories, good and bad, but we've also given you free agency, freedom of choice. You have a harder walk than most people on this planet because not only have some of you have suppressed memories of abuses and control and things that you've done, you've also had harshness treatment to you upon this planet. That's because you are so strong. It has not broken you. It has not broken you. You are resilient. You're a warrior. And we need you. Stay strong work with us. That's why we're here now. The awakening is happening. And you will need to work with the Legion Angels and the Valkyrie and the Warriors. They will need you. They will need your knowledge to fight what's coming at us because you know what it is. Our memories are suppressed on this, but your memories are still there. And you need to teach us. You need to warn us. And you need to fight with us when time comes. <laughs>